الحمد لله الذي أكرمنا بهذا النبي العظيم صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه وجعله أعظم خلقه خصائص ومزايا فجعلنا به خير أمة أخرجت للناس من بين البرايا. Said so praises for Allah who gave us generously this prophet and gave him unique qualities and merits. So through him we were the best nation that was brought forth for humanity. وَكَانَ مِنْ خَصَائِصِ هَذَا النَّبِيِّ الْمُصْطَفَى صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم ما أشار إليه هذا الشيخ العالم الرباني الحي عبد الله بن حسين بن طاهر من أن الله آتى نبينا جوامع الكلم. And from his unique qualities was that that was alluded to by the Shaykh, this Imam, this uh, lordly Imam, Habib Abdullah bin Hussein bin Tahir, that he was given encompassing speech. And this Shaykh was one of those who grew up in the, in the way or the path of adhering to the manners, the adab of the Prophet Muhammad. حتى قال متحدثا بنعمه ربه ما فعلت مكروها ولا هممت بفعل مكروه حفظا من الله لمن شاء such that he said mentioning Allah's favor over him i did not ever do something that was makru offensive nor did i want to do something that was makru and that was the protection Allah gives to those whom he wills أخذ تحقيق العلوم عن علماء أجلة ذوي سند متصل إلى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. He took uh, precisely in an exacting way the scholar, uh, the various Islamic disciplines from scholars with an aptitude that narrated that with a chain of transmission back. وتولع قلبه بعبادة الله سبحانه وتعالى. And his heart became uh, passionately in love or attached to worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَكَانَ لَهُ فِي قِيَامِ اللَّيْلِ كُلَّ لَيْلَ عَشَرَةَ أَجْزَ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ الْكَرِيمِ So in his prayers in the night, each night he would recite ten, uh, ten parts, ten thirtieths of the magnificent Qur'an. وَفِي صَلَاةِ الضُّحَى مِثْلَهَا عَشَرَةَ أَجْزَ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ الْكَرِيمِ And similarly at the time of the duha, the mid-morning prayer, he would recite ten ajza, ten thirtieths of the Qur'an. وَكَانَ وِرْدُهُ مِنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ فِي كُلِّ يَوْمٍ خَمْسَةً وَعِشْرِينَ أَلْفٍ And his nor daily portion of saying لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ was 25,000 times each day. وَمِنْ نِدَاءِ بِالتَّضَرُّعْ يَا اللَّهِ يَا اللَّهِ خَمْسَةً وَعِشْرِينَ أَلْفٍ And his calling to Allah saying يَا اللَّهِ يَا اللَّهِ was also 25,000 times. وَمِنَ الصَّلَاةِ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ مُحَمَّدٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ فِي كُلِّ يَوْمٍ خَمْسَةً وَعِشْرِينَ أَلْفٍ And he would send blessings and peace upon the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in each day, twenty-five thousand times. وهذه العلوم والعبادة جعلته من الراسخين في العلم والفهم عما يبلغ رسول الله. So this knowledge and worship made him of those who were firmly grounded in the understanding of that is that which is conveyed from Allah's Messenger. فذكر لنا هذا الحديث الشريف وذكر فيه عدة معاني. So he mentioned this noble tradition and mentioned uh, a number of meanings that are within it. Al-hadithu qawluhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al-mu'minu mir'atu al-mu'min. The hadith is the saying of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the believer is a mirror of the believer. Fadhakar al-ma'na al-awwal wa huwa anna al-mu'mina yara min akhihi al-mu'min sifatin hasana wa khalaqan fadila فيقلده فيها ويحاكيه ويقتدي به فيها ويهتدي به ويرى صفات سيئة ومخالفة فيعلم أن عنده مثل ذلك فيحمله هذا على أن يفتش على نفسه ويميط عن نفسه هذه الأخلاق السيئة والصفات القبيحة. He mentioned the first meaning that a believer looks at his brother believer and sees in him virtuous, uh, noble qualities. So he emulates him in those and follows those and acts according to his example such that he's guided through those qualities. And similarly, the believer will look at another believer and see in him vices or faults and he will strive to rid himself from those uh, just as he would, he would strive to rid himself from those faults that he saw. فَكَمَا أَنَّ الْمِرْآةَ الْحِسِيَّةِ تُرُوا الْإِنسَانِ صُورَتَهُ 
wa ma fiha min mahasin wa ma fiha min masawi li ajil yuslihaha fa kadhalika al mu'min lil mu'min fi shu'unihi al ma'nawiyyah so he said so just as a physical mirror shows to someone um, their good quality the good of, uh, qualities of their appearance or what needs correcting such that they can do so the believer is the mirror for the other believer in terms of their spiritual qualities للإنسان صورتان حسية ومعنوية. A human being has two appearances or forms, a physical form and a spiritual form. الحسية تسمى خلق والمعنوية تسمى خلق. The perceptible form is called خلق or the appearance, and the imperceptible form is called خلق or the character. والحكم في عالم الحس والدنيا لصورة الخلق. لكن في عالم القيامة لصورة المعنوية لصورة الخلق. In the perceptible world, people base judgment on the physical appearance. However, on the day of rising, judgment is based on the spiritual appearance. ولذا تجد أن الذين كانت تغلب عليهم صفات الغضب والانتقام على الناس يحشر أحدهم في صورة سبع مفترس يوم القيامة. And he said, for that reason, you find that people who were overcome by the qualities of anger and taking vengeance against others will be resurrected in the form of a predatory beast. And someone who was overcome by their forbidden desires, they will be resurrected in the form of a pig. وفي هذا المعنى من الحديث. بيان وظيفة المؤمن أمام ما يرى من محاسن إخوانه فيثبتها ويعترف بها ويذكرها عنهم ويتابعهم فيها. So this shows us how a believer should view the praiseworthy qualities of their brothers. They should affirm them and discuss them and acknowledge them and follow them in those qualities. وتنازع النفس والشيطان. فتحب أن تسد محاسن الغير وربما تقول عليها ذكرها خصوصا إذا كان الغير في نفس مرتبته في السن والأخذ أو في نفس المكان والوظيفة التي يكون فيها. He said, however, the lower self and the devil will contend with this person so that make to make them not want to mention or acknowledge these good qualities, particularly if the person is at a similar station or is near to that person. ولذا قال الإمام الحداد دل دليل على عقل الرجل ثناؤه على أقرانه بما يستحقون. For that reason, Imam al-Haddad said, among the best proofs of the soundness of the intellect of a man is his praise of his peers. كما أن وظيفته إذا رأى المعايب في أخيه أن لا ينشرها وأن لا يذكرها وإلا كان من المغتابين الذين also, his responsibility is when he sees the faults of his brothers that he not um, he not discuss them or tell them to others. Otherwise, he would be of those who slandered them or bit their backs, who is threatened with a severe threatened with a severe punishment. فنشر المحاسن وستر المساوي أساس متين في حفظ وحدة المؤمنين وتآلفهم ومحبتهم. So spreading people's good qualities and concealing their evil qualities is a strong foundation in establishing unity and preserving love amongst them. وفي الحديث أن نبينا صلى الله عليه وسلم قال يا معشر من آمن بلسانه ولم يفض الإيمان إلى قلبه لا توذ المسلمين ولا تتبع عوراتهم. So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said. O oh, you who have believed with your tongue and it's not firm in your hearts, do not harm them, do not harm the Muslims with your tongue or uh, seek out their faults. And in this there's an indication that someone will not um, have an attachment to spreading the faults and, uh, and slandering the Muslims, except someone who faith is not firmly grounded in their heart. 
وذكر لنا معنى ثانيا لحديث المؤمن مرآة المؤمن. He mentioned a second meaning of the hadith that a believer is the mirror of another believer. فقال معناه أن المؤمن يرى من أخيه المؤمن معايب وصفات سيئة فيتلطف في تنبيهه عليها ويعمل على تخليصه منها فهذه وظيفته مع أخيه المؤمن. He said that a believer sees um, vices or evil qualities uh, in another believer, so they gently advise them to try to remove these qualities, and this is their responsibility towards other believers. يقول أحد العارفين الحبيب علي الحبشي عليه رحمة الله مررت في السوق وإذا ببايع يبيع فوقع في قلبي أنه من أرباب النور واليقين. حبيب علي الحبشي he said that he passed by a merchant in the, marking, in, in the market and it occurred to my heart that this is one of the friends of Allah, one of the awliya. So I stopped with those who were buying from him, hoping that we would get introduced and have brotherhood between, that brotherhood would occur between he and I for the sake of Allah. قال انتظر قليلا يا حبيب حتى نخلص الزباين الذين معنا. So when he saw him, he looked at him and he said, wait a little while, oh Habib, until um, we finish with these customers that are with us. فلما أكمل الزباين الذين معه أغلق دكانه وأخذ بيده ومشى إلى مكسكنه. So when he finished with those customers, he closed his store and he took him by the hand to his home. فوجد مكانا متواضعا يسكن فيه هذا الرجل. So he found a, a humble place, a, a very a basic, simple place in which this man lived. He said, so would you like us to speak about the, the presence of singularity, speaking about lordly affairs and the qualities and names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or would you like us to speak about the Muhammadan presence and his states and his experiences? So Habib Ali Habshi said, we'll enter upon our Lord through the door, meaning we begin by mentioning uh, the Prophet sallallahu and then reach our Lord through that. So he began to pour forth uh, vast, um, wondrous meanings and experiences. And he said, La ilaha illallah, someone who saw you like this in the souk, as you were, wouldn't have thought you had any of this. وَلَوْ كَشَفَ اللَّهُ لِلْإِنسَانِ عَنْ عَيْبْ مِنْ عِيُوبِهِ فَأَصْلَحَ خَيْرٌ لَهُ مِنْ أَنْ يَطْلَعْ عَلَىٰ أَحْوَالِ النَّاسِ وَوِلَايَاتِهِمْ وَأَسْرَارُهُمْ فَإِنَّ غَايَتَهُ أَنْ يُحْسِنَ الظَّنِّ وَهَذَا وَاجِبٌ عَلَيْهِ أَنْ يُحْسِنَ الظَّنِّ إِطْلَعْ عَلَىٰ الْوِلَايَةِ أَوْ لَمْ يَطْلِعْ لكن لو كشف له عيب من عيوبه فخلصه منه ارتفعت به درجته عند الله تعالى فهذا خير له And he said, oh Habib, if someone was made to know one of their vices and be rid thereof, that would be better than them knowing the various states that people have because the furthest that would cause them is to have a good opinion of them and that's an obligation anyway. However, if, they were, if one of our vices is rectified, that's of real benefit. <laughs> And he said, so he gave me to drink from that, uh, uh, something of the drink of training and uh, giving me an advice and an admonition. And so the likes of Umar bin al-Khattab and other than him would say the most beloved of people to me is the one who gives the gift to me of my own faults. ولما ذكر هذه المقالة الإمام الغزالي قال فانظر كيف وصل حال المسلمين إلى أن صرنا في وقت أبغض الناس إليهم من يذكرهم بعيوبهم. <تصفيق> so Imam al-Ghazali he said when he mentioned this statement look at the state of the Muslims now such that the most hated of them is the one who shows them their faults. 
ولما عاد سيدنا سلمان الفارسي من منطقة أرسله إليها سيدنا عمر واليا عليها فعاد بعد مدة سأله سيدنا عمر ما بلغك عني مما تكره حتى أتنزه منه And once when Salman al-Farisi returned from a, a region that he had been made the magistrate of by Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu, when he returned to Umar, Umar said, what have you heard about me that you dislike so that I can rid myself thereof? Sayyidina Umar got tarabba ala yadin Nabi Muhammad. Our liege lord Omar was reared or trained on the hands of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu And he was given glad tidings of paradise. And, that shaytan, and he was told that the shaitan flees from his shadow. And that if he sees him traveling a path, he travels another path other than his. And that Allah made the truth conforming to the heart of Umar and up to what he said. However, all of these meanings and this spiritual training caused him to inspect carefully his own vices until the end of his life. So him in the time of his being the caliph and at the end of his life, he would seek from his brothers to know his faults. قال له سيدنا سلمان عفني يا أمير المؤمنين قال لا عذر لك. He said to uh, Salman, he said, uh, excuse me, give me, pardon me, O leader of the faithful. قال إن كان ولا بد فقد بلغني عنك أمران. He said he insisted. He said so then if if it need be if if it's a must, I've heard two things about you. قال ما هما. He said what are these two? قال أما الأول فبلغني أنك جمعت. في سفرة واحدة بين إدامين. He said the first is that I've heard that you use two sauces at one table. وأما الثانية فبلغني أنك في يوم واحد لبست حلتين وليس هذا من هدي النبي قبلك ولا هدي أبي بكر. And he said and also it reached me that you wear two garments, two two sets of clothing in one day and that wasn't from the guidance of Allah's messenger nor was it from the guidance of Abu Bakr. قال فهل غير هذين قال لا. He said other than these two and he said no. قال أما هذان فقد كفيتهما من اليوم لا ألبس في اليوم حلتين ولا أجمع في سفرة واحدة بينما إدامين. He said as for these two, I'm sufficed of them or we're sufficed of them from today. I won't eat two sauces on one table nor would I wear two garments in one day. فانظر إلى أهل الكمال كيف يطلبون الأكمل في الكمال. He said, so look at those who are perfected, how they always seek what's more perfect than that. And if the believer tastes these meanings, they will constantly and eternally ascend. And their state will become pure and their life good with their brothers and they'll look and seek out their own faults. كذلك إذا رأى في أخيه المؤمن الأعمال الصالحة والأخلاق الفاضلة يشجعه عليها ويحثه عليها ويقويها فيه. And also if the believer sees from his believing brother pious deeds, he should encourage him in therein and uh, strengthen him therein. وقد كان ذلك في صفة نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه كان يسأل الناس عما في الناس قال فيحسن الحسن ويقويه. And that was from the qualities of the Prophet ﷺ. He would ask how people were and the good qualities that he heard, he would encourage them and strengthen them. And the bad qualities that he heard, he would uh, belittle them and weaken them. وذكر لنا معنى ثالثا في هذا الحديث الكريم المؤمن مرآة المؤمن. And he mentioned a third meaning of this noble tradition. Of the believer being the mirror of a believer. المعنى الثالث قال أن المؤمن يرى ما فيه في إخوانه المؤمنين. فالمؤمن مرآة المؤمن. 
فإن كانت طويته صافية طيبة حسنة يرى المؤمنين كلهم كذلك حتى جاء في بهذا المعنى الحديث الآخر المؤمن إذا قال صدق وإذا قيل صدق إذا قال صدق وإذا قيل صدق He said that the third meaning is that the believer sees their own qualities in others. So if they have beautiful, good qualities within them, they'll see that in others. And another, this is affirmed by a meaning of another tradition. A believer, if they speak, they tell the truth. And if they're spoken to, they believe it. ترى كثيرا من الصحابة والتابعين والتابعين بإحسان ما يتوقعون عن المؤمنين أوصافا قبيحة ولا يظنون أنها تصدر منهم. So we see many of the companions and those who follow them and those who follow them well, they don't expect um, evil qualities or they don't expect anything but good to come from others. وأحد أهل الأدب والتهذيب جاء إلى مؤلف هذا الكتاب بعد أن توفي شيخه يريد أن يتصل به ويكمل تربيته عليه. So someone of refined etiquette came to the author of this book after his own sheikh had died, wanting to um, connect to him and, and receive spiritual training from him. فقال له بين بلدك وبلدي مسافة فلا في بلدك اقرأ كتاب إحياء علوم الدين ولا تتردد علينا إلا من وقت إلى وقت آخر بعيد. And he said, your town is far from mine. So read from the revival of the religious sciences, the Ihya, and come to me from time to time. فَلَمَّا وَصَلَ إِلَى رُبْعِ الْمُهْلِكَاتِ تَعْجَبَ وَقَالَ هَلْ مِثْلُ هَذِهِ الْأَوْصَافِ حَسَدُ وَالْرِيَاءِ وَكِبِرُ وَعْجُبُ تُوجِدْ فِي الْمُسْلِمِينَ فِي أَهْلَ إِلَهِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ فَهُوَ بِحُكْمِ الْبِيَاءِ الَّتِي نَشَأَ فِيهَا لَا يَظُنُ أَنَّ هَذَا مَوْجُودٌ بَيْنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ so when he reached, he, he reached the, the volume of the destructive vices, the third volume, and he read about envy and arrogance and ostentation and pride, he, he was amazed and he said, are there, are there people from the believers that have the likes of these qualities? But that was because of the environment that he had been reared, reared in. He didn't even believe people existed with these type of vices. حتى خطر على بالي ربما أن الشيخ أوصاني بكتاب غير هذا لأن هذا في أخبار غريبة جدا وبعيدة فسافر إلى شيخه وقال ما الكتاب الذي أوصيتموني به؟ Such that it occurred to him that his own that his sheikh had had not give, counseled him advised him to read this book and that had been another book so he traveled to ask his sheikh because of the wondrous things that he found or the weird things that he found in this first book. فجاء لي يقول إحياء علوم الدين قال هذا الكتاب بنفسه قال نعم قال فيه كلام غريب ما أظن موجود في المؤمنين في ربع المهلكات فتبسم شيخ وضحك قال أنت تربيت في بيت تقع وبيت طهر ما عرفت هذه الأشياء هذه ألفت لغير لغيرك مثاله. So he told them that it was the إحياء and he said there's strange things in this I didn't believe that there was any believers that had these qualities and he mentioned this third volume. And he said that you were reared in a house of taqwa, of, of wariness of Allah, and a house of purity. So these, are, these qualities are being described for other than you. And and he said and this is a noble quality but above it is a, is a more noble quality and that is that they have a good opinion of others though at the same time they um, are wary from someone trying to deceive them or lying them or some, lying to them or something of this nature. So they don't ever deceive, however they don't allow themselves to be deceived. And they don't, uh, someone can't trick them or, or with any given lie. So they have a good opinion and they don't affirm within themselves an evil opinion of anyone. However, they're still able to be wary and wise. And again, this was from the elect. This is a station of those from the elect and the very intelligent among the believers.
قد كان بعض الصحابة يقول كان عمر أكرم من أن يخدع وأعقل من أن يخدع. Someone that one of the companions described Umar and he said that he was more noble than that he would deceive anyone and he had more intellect than that he would be deceived. ولهذا كان قوي الفراسة حتى قال عبد الله بن عمر ما رأيت أبي قال في شيء أظن يكون كذا إلا وقع كما قال. For this reason he had penetrating insight, firasa, and his son Abdullah bin Umar said, I never saw my father say, I think this will be the case, save that that was the case. نسأل الله أن يملأ قلوبنا بحسن الظن ويجعلنا في الصالحين. We ask Allah to fill our hearts with a good opinion and that he makes us from his pious slaves. ونختم بمعنى يتعلق بهذا الحديث لطيف لبعض أهل الذوب أن المؤمن وصف للإنسان الذي آمن بالله وهو اسم من أسماء ربنا سبحانه وتعالى وأعلى ما يتفضل الله تعالى من تجليه في قلب هذا المؤمن الصادق معه فصار بهذا المؤمن مرآة المؤمن أي مرآة في باطنه يتجلى فيها عليه ربه بالإفضال والمعتعرف إليه والإحسان فيكون دالا على الله بين الخلق فهو مرآة الله بين البرية يدل على الله سبحانه وتعالى بتجل الله عليه فالمؤمن مرآة المؤمن جل جلاله. And he then will we'll close with a, a very subtle meaning um, that isn't perhaps even somewhat obscure. We ask Allah to allow us to convey it. Um, that the, the word al-mu'min that we translate as believer, that's a description of someone who has the quality of faith. However, al-mu'min is also from Allah's beautiful names. So he said that the believer by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when Allah manifests himself to the heart of that believer and through his grace that believer becomes a mirror for other believers in which this theophany occurs and it teaches them about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when uh, the Prophet ﷺ was asked about the, the friends of Allah he said those who when they're seen Allah is remembered اللهم اجعلنا في أوليائك وادخلنا دوائر أصفيائك واجز القائمين على هذا المسجد والعاملين فيه بخير الجزاء وتقبل منهم مثوبة وضعف ضعف مثوباتهم واجزل اللهم الجزاء منك لهم وعنهم على ما هم فيه من كل خير وادفع عنا وعنهم كل شر وضير واجعلنا متحابين فيك مجتمعين على ما يرضيك ها نحن يا ربنا انظر إلينا نظرة فما في كل منا من محاسن بثها في جميعنا وأكرمنا بها أجمعين وما في كل منا من مساوي طهره وطهر منها الجماعة أجمعين اللهم طهرنا من المساوي وصفنا من المعايب وأبعدنا من المثالب وهب لنا المحاسن والأخلاق الأطايب والصفات الحسنة التي تحبها وانظر إلينا نظرة من عندك نرقى بها أعلى الذراء نثبت بها في خير خيار الورى وأعلي درجات والدينا ومشايخنا في الدين وذوي الحقوق علينا يا رب العالمين ويا أكرم الأكرمين واختم لنا أجمعين بالحسنى وأنت راض عنا صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم الحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة إلى حضرة النبي